Let's take a look at this equation. We got x to the two thirds minus four x to the one third minus five equal to zero. And we want to do the u substitution again. Well, step one: let the variable part of the middle be u, and the variable part of the first be u squared. So we're going to rewrite this as u squared minus 4u minus 5 equals 0. Now step 2, solve for u. This is a PST method, u squared u, no u, no number in front of u squared. We'll take the number at the end, ignoring the signs. So we'll take 5, and we'll come up with our three columns. This will be kind of a boring one because 5 is prime, but we list all the products, give us 5. We got 1 times 5. In the S column, we add those together. 1 plus 5 is 6. In the difference column, we subtract smaller from larger. 5 minus 1 is 4. Now, the number we're looking for is a number in our middle term, which is 4. So we're going to use 1 and 5. Now, our larger number in the P column, which is the 5, is always going to be the same size as the middle term, which in this case was negative. Now the number we circle is in the difference column. D for different signs it means one's positive and one's negative. If the 5 is negative, then the 1 has to be positive. Zero factor property. You get 0 on one side, you factor the other side, you set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set u plus 1 equal to 0 and u minus 5 equal to 0. Take the 1 over, we get a negative 1. And take the negative 5 over, and we get a positive 5. Step 3, plug u equals blank back in. In this particular problem, we uh, said u is x to one third. So we'll plug in the x to one third for the u. And then we want to solve for x. Well, this is a rational exponent. Uh, to get rid of the exponent, we're going to take both sides to a power equal to the, um, we're going to take both sides to a power equal to the reciprocal of this. So we got one third, so we'll take both sides to the 3 over 1 power or the third power. And same thing on this one. So we've got x to one third, take both sides of three over one. Threes cancel, the ones cancel, and I got x. And three over one's three. Negative one to the third power is negative one. Now in this one, threes cancel, ones cancel, I got x, and five to the third gives us 125. Now this is assuming this works in our original problem. Let me plug negative 1 in here and see. Negative 1 to the 1 third power is negative 1 squared is 1. If I put it in here, that gives me a negative, so that's a positive 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 minus 5 is 0. So that checks. 125 to the 2 thirds will be uh, 5 squared, which is 25. Uh, this 125 to the 1 third would be... Um, 5 times 4 is 20, so 25 minus 20 is 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, so both of them check.